Yo, so um, there was a, there was a story that I didn't get to during the show. Let me actually pull it up on my laptop real quick. I thought this was crazy. So um, there was uh, a team produced. They built first living robots that can quote reproduce. Yeah, right. AI design Xenobots reveal entirely new form of biological self replication, promising for regenerate regenerate regenerative medicine right and it says i'm gonna i'm gonna read it says uh now scientists at the university of vermont tufts university uh and harvard university have discovered an entirely new form of biological uh, reproduction and applied their discovery to create the first ever self-replicating living robots Wow. That's where we're going with this. Guys. That changes the game. Yes, it does. Once robots can replicate themselves. Yes. Do we need humans? And if they're replicating themselves with an IQ or whatever, mm -hmm. higher than that of, of humans, ball game is over. So yeah, this thing is going. That's crazy. Off the fucking rails. That's cr And so, and then, because our leverage as humans is that we are like you know we are the life force of this whole we thing. We have soul. We have soul, right? That's our leverage. Like we really push things forward. Once, and and that's why it gets tricky when it comes to, uh, when it comes to just looking at numbers and analytics and stuff like that. Because once, as a business owner, I can just go, yeah, but the robot can get this done way cheaper, more efficient, more efficiently. I don't have to deal with people when they drama. You get what I'm saying? They, but we, they, we're they, seeing that now with if you're getting sneakers and clothing manufactured mm -hmm. in them third world countries mm -hmm. where you're paying crumbs because at the end of the day you're looking for the maximized profit you can make. Yeah, your, your margins. Once, we yeah, once we cross the line and I know this machines can flip seventy five burgers efficiently, no burns, is always on time, never gets an order wrong because it, it took your voice in and what you ordered, dude. Right. Why do I need humans coming in here smoking? <sighs> Niggas is late. They don't want to work overtime. And then, so now we talk about reproducing and things like that. Now we don't need normal reproduction. We don't need normal sex from humans to reproduce, whatever. And I, like, whatever, like we can carry on a population now because these robots can replicate themselves now, right? Yeah. So yeah. now the agenda not well not the agenda but it is an agenda but the idea that and again we talk about leverage mm -hmm. our leverage as straight humans is we make babies y'all don't right that's our leverage there right. you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah. now they're going yeah yeah i can do that too somehow yeah. you know what i mean i mean the fact that there will never be um they're trying to infuse your consciousness mm -hmm. and your soul into these robots. Mm -hmm. If they do that, then it's really over. Yeah. Because you got a spirit, a soul, which they don't have, so they're very linear in their being. Mm -hmm. Once they're able to infuse your consciousness, but your consciousness is everything. Right. With, and imagine they could put your consciousness in another person. Yeah. After you get old and worn down, and you remember who you are. That was Get Out. The movie Get Out. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's uh, something else on the table. But they're trying to put them shits into robots. Yeah. And give these robots more of a humanized experience. So, you know what's crazy? Um, the chess champion, like the all-time chess champion, Gary Kazaprov, I think, I think is his name. He was famous for going against a supercomputer in a chess match, right? So I think he beat beat the computer once, and the next time the computer beat him. And then the question was, like, so if a computer can do all of this, like, what's the point of even people going? He goes, he said something that was deep. He goes, computers think of just numbers, right, logical stuff. He said it's the human that has a different thought when it comes to risk. You know what I'm saying? I, I have a feeling that this could work. Right, right. So it's a different feeling on what, when we talk about AI and these things, it's the human soul implanted in these things that kind of trump the the the, the robotic yeah, yeah aspect of it. No, true story, true story. Somebody said we saw this in iRobot. Yes, that was and that was the whole thing. Right, 
Right. That was the whole thing Will Smith was against. He was like, yo, they don't have a soul. Like, how did they know who was right to save and who's not to save? But logically, it makes more sense to save that girl right. or to save me than that girl. When yep. I would have saved that girl, mm-hmm. the little girl. You know what I mean? If, you, if you've seen the movie. Right. Black Mirror, the Black Museum episode. Yes. That was deep. Yes. 